Kyle Montgomery, alongside former Tar Heel, JRE, welcoming you inside our ACC Digital Network studios. The Wake Forest Demon Deeks and Boston College Eagles, two teams off the slow start so far in conference play, headed into Saturday, trying to get things turned around before it gets too late. And there's BC huddling up. Try to figure out how to score some more points. The worst scoring offense in the conference. Probably should have been worried about defending that guy, Travis McKay. Absolutely. McKay doing his work down low and helping to a 40 to 24 point advantage in the paint today. Yeah, hits the fadeaway, then he gets the uh, nice layup there. Nine points in the first half. Meanwhile, on the other end, the big fella, Dennis Clifford. Nice up and under there. His team, though, still down by eight at the break. Second half we go. Uh, who are they going to, JR? Oh, you know it is more diet of McKay. Yeah, he can do it inside and out. Uh, here's the long range variety there. Knocks down the triple, 20 points, 10 rebounds on the night for him. 12 point advantage for Wake, but uh, BC won't go away. Jordan Daniels knocks down the three, gets the lead to single digits, but CJ Harris uh, has had enough of that. He hits the J as Wake goes on to win it, 71-56. I thought we were really uh, engaged in this game from the right from the start. It started after our Duke game on Thursday. We immediately put that behind us and we focused right in on, on Boston College immediately at Cameron right after the Duke game. So our guys were really into this game in terms of their preparation, their focus, and it's something they really, really wanted. We did a really good job on Clifford in terms of taking, uh, making sure that he didn't catch it deep, number one. Number two, when he caught it, we took long steps in there because he's a good second move guy. We walled him up really good. We stayed down on his shot fakes and just tried to make him take tough shots over our length. So obviously, at the beginning of that clip, coach is stressing the fact of putting the past behind you. But you can't ignore the fact that Wake Forest snapped a three-game losing streak in this one. The last two that they lost were by double digits. This is one that Coach Jeff Bizdelic and company really needed. Oh, absolutely. You know, when you're a young team, you know, you're going to have bumps along the way. And you've got to be able to stick with your team and still have uh, believe in them. And today for them to come out and play the way that they did against this squad and get this win, this is a big win for them. You also heard him mention the importance of the defense on the interior in this game. Uh, it seemed like almost every shot in the paint was contested. When you got a seven-footer uh, like Ty Walker doing what he did six blocks, that's going to help you out a lot. Absolutely, Kyle. You know, a big guy, seven feet. He's athletic. He runs and long. Today, he, he was had pressure all over. Every shot that came up, he was contesting it. Boston College guys were looking for him during timeouts. They were scared about where the shot, the next block shot was coming from. But for, for Wake Forest to be successful this year and make strides, they need him to bring this every game. Uh, Makai's three blocks, his six, it will make for a good day in, in the paint. Sure, you got C.J. Harris and Travis McKay handling things offensively. From a defensive perspective, speaking of Ty Walker, how do you get him to consistently commit to being dominant defensively? You've got to stay in his ear, Kyle. You know, Coach Pistelli has got to stay in him. For us to win, big fella, we need you. Everything starts in the middle. And that's the way that, you know, most basketball is still played that way today. It's played from the inside out. You've got to get the ball to run. Everybody likes to run, but you've got to get it and control the boards. All right, Wake gets their second conference win. Guess what? That's, that's more than they had all of last season. It's good things, man. Yeah. Good things. Positive outlook for uh, Wake Forest. For J.R. Reed, I'm Kyle Montgomery saying so long for now from our ACC Digital Network Studios.